for his collectibles and all and you know obviously things I will be reviewing very soon for the podcast um you know video reviews and all that collectibles so you now got some really good stuff so I'll start showing you that now um I got my first two six inch figures from the new Star Wars film The Force Awakens that was pretty exciting of course the first one I got was Ray and BB-8 no one of the ones I've been wanting most so very happy to have this one as you know one of my first six inch figures from The Force Awakens still really happy they decided to make um, you know it, it, a kind of a two pack with Ray and BB-8 instead of releasing BB-8 on its own because as you probably know I'm not the biggest fan of astronaut droid figures on their own being the same face as every other figure so I'm very happy that Hasbro made that decision and looking forward to opening that figure up. And the other Force Awakens 6 inch figure I got was Captain Phasma who has only recently been released in the 6 inch line. I mean they has been available since Force Friday in September but Phasma only recently but I'm not actually sure when exactly Phasma's 6 inch figure is released. Um, so now I have Phasma in both 6 inch and 3 and 3 quarter inch which I'm very happy about. Um, even though the character you know wasn't in the film as much as I expected I knew she was going to be in, in a, only in, in a small role but I thought she'd get more screen time than she did but you know I mean I'm looking forward to seeing more of her and hopefully you know she'll actually be badass in episode 8 it's not really a spoiler I mean very minor anyway so I'm, you know it's January now if you haven't watched the film already you're probably not as you know eager to see it as other people um, but yeah I also got a couple of other 6 inch figures so those weren't the only ones um, a figure that of course caused a lot of controversy last year and was discontinued eventually uh, the Princess Leia 6 inch figure in her slave outfit um, you know I mean it, it wasn't one of the 6 inch figures you know it was released a long time ago maybe even in 2014 I can't even remember um, but you know I mean once I heard it was going to be discontinued I decided I might as well get one so you know slave lay a 6 inch in my collection um, the other 6 inch figure I got from the original movies was the TIE Pilot which is a very nice figure as well so those are the 6 inch figures I got I did get a couple of 3 and 3 quarter inch figures as well first of all is a two pack from Star Wars Rebels with Darth Vader and the Soka Tano, uh, which I've been, you know, hoping to get for a while. So really happy to add it to my collection. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Another Force Awakens figure, but this time the three and three quarter inch line, of course, which is another Ray figure, um, Ray Star Killer base. So. Now, very happy to have another in my three and three quarter inch The Force Awakens figures too. So yeah, and I also got a couple of Lego sets which I will show you. In fact, I got I got two Lego sets and you know another Lego Star Wars thing which you know a bit different to what I've usually gotten. But um, so I will show you the three of them now. Um, first of all, which is actually a very recent set and when I say recent like it's my first The Force Awakens set and no actually it's my second Ray Speeder was my first so it's my second but it's a set that you know has actually accidentally been available since last month and it was meant to be released this month and yet you know the way Lego works like a January wave and a summer wave you know this was meant to be this January one of this January sets and um, it actually has been out since like the set, since the last month, so it is the Lego Star Wars First Order Battle Pack set. So you know, it's great now that they gain battle packs out for the Force Awakens. Looks really nice, and you know a very small and nice, easy set to build. So you now that's obviously a nice thing too. Um, and another set I got, which was actually one released, I believe, in the January wave of last year, like um. So it is the T16 Skyhopper set, which is a set I've been, you know, hoping to get for a while. Like it's been a while since I've done a Tuscan Raider minifigure. Um so I'm very happy to have this set in my collection as well. 
And lastly, and for the Lego end, I did say it would be a bit different. It was one of the new Lego Star Wars buildable figures, which I haven't, this is my first of them. I haven't gotten any before, and it's Jango Fett from Attack of the Clones. Um, no, I'm certainly interested to, you know, uh, you know, get into this buildable figure, you know, see if, you know, I want to get a lot more. There are some good ones, um, there's also some ones that, of course, look really bad, but Django did look good, and I'm happy that, you know, I've got that in my collection, too. Um, and I also got some books, and um, magazine, an exclusive one, which is very nice, um, First of all, the Star Wars, the Ultimate Visual Guide, updated and expanded because, of course, they've done a version of it before, but now with even more characters, um, you know, it's very nice, you know, looking forward to giving it a good read at some point. Yeah, very good. And also, you know, speaking of characters, not only Star Wars, but Marvel, Avengers, Earth's, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, um, the ultimate character guide, so the ultimate guide to all of the Marvel characters, um, which is really nice. Um, now, another thing I'm looking forward to reading a lot of, and I'm sure I'll learn quite a f about quite a few Marvel characters that I hadn't even heard of before. Um, and here I got, a, I was given an Empire magazine, which you know is a, you know, exclusive cover, and you know it's. You know, Quite, it's kind of 3D like, you know, I remember when I was getting this for the first time I literally felt dizzy at first because of the way the cover is done, um, but it's really interesting for sure, um, and you know, looking forward to giving that a read too, be doing a lot of reading evidently, so you know, um, and I also got an assortment of other Star Wars gifts as well, which I will show you now, um, first of all, an R2-D2 bathroom tidy, because, you know, when you're in the bathroom, you, you just need R2-D2 with you. That didn't even remotely make sense. <laughs> um, but, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, th this is what it says on the back. With C-3PO flannel and bath and shower gel. Actually, you would need it with you, so. You know, I mean, it makes sense now that I read the back out, so. Um, yeah. And also Stormtrooper color changing LED light, which is also you know nice as well. And it might look familiar to you if you watch the other whole video. I got another Star Wars multicolor pen. Um, you know, nice to have. You know, another as well. I know because pens do run out, so it's good to have another one. Um. Three others, you know, assorted Star Wars gifts. One, is, this one is a Stormtrooper putty head, so, you no, know, it's an interesting one. Um, and the next one is a lightsaber candy lollipop. You know, I'm sure it'll be tasty. You know, I'll feel a bit weird eating a lightsaber, but, you know, I, I guess I've eaten weirder things. Actually, I can't really say I have, um, I'm not the most exotic person in the world. <laughs> uh, exotic, just the first word that came into my mind. Um, and lastly, the Star Wars 2016 calendar. There's a look at the back as well. Um, so that's it for like, well actually I was going to say that's it for the Star Wars stuff. That's it for, you know, those kind of things. I also got a few t-shirts as well. Um, just to, you know, change it up from Star Wars, I'll show you a different shirt first. It's actually a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare shirt, which, as you can see, I still have in the package. Um, but if you've played the game, you'll probably recognize the logo and all. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I still haven't played Advanced Warfare, actually, but um, now I have a t-shirt of it, so I guess I probably should. Um, and I did. Yes, and actually I did get a couple of Star Wars t-shirts. This one is from The Empire Strikes Back, you know, which, with an at AT image on it, yeah. Very nice design, I'm definitely looking forward to wearing that. And another Star Wars t-shirt, which is um, like a collage of uh, Stormtroopers, you know, a nice design as well. 
Yeah. And I also got a nice 1C, which I'm sure will keep me cosy if I need, you know, if I ever feel the need to be cosy. Um, <laughs> trying to try to find where the hood was and man finally managed to find it. Um, so yeah. Oh, you always need something to keep you cosy. Uh, so, uh, you know, that one last gift, and this one is actually pretty amusing because um, my dad got it for me, and like, um, he said we had a conversation about, you know, selfies months ago, and genuinely, I can't even remember the conversation. I mean, I know I've had conversations with some people that I know about selfies recently, but not my dad. Kind of weird but anyway so he got the idea to get me this as a gift a selfie stick which is pretty amusing I mean you know I can see the funny side like I did laugh out loud when I opened it so you know I mean definitely has an amusing side to it um no I'm sure I'll find some uses for it eventually but um you know yeah just